Hello guys and welcome back to our 10th Laravel code hub tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go ahead and handle the login and registration error. So we're going to display the errors if there's any errors in the form itself since we didn't handle that. However, we did handle that for the uh, you know, for the uh, sorry, for the post uh, for posting a, a new question on our form. So to do that, if you remember, by default Laravel actually does have the controller auth so it's able to handle the login and registration like we talked about previously so in our controllers auth controller here all those rules are actually being defined in here for login and password so actually we don't need to do much beside we need to display the errors that are being returned from Laravel and to handle that if you remember from our previous tutorial we created a partial so if we go on the resources here and views and layouts and partials we have an error form here form errors and here's where the errors are getting displayed this is handling the dis displaying um, errors now in order to display it on the page we need to include that in our login forms and if you remember from our question blood blade here all we got to do is something like this so include this in the login form and log out and registration forms so let's go under views auth login and I'm gonna include this partial form here save it do the same thing for register and save it so that should handle the forms the errors being displayed so now let's try it so I'm gonna go and try to log in here and I'm gonna put uh, a valid email address but an incorrect password and I'm gonna try to log in and when I hit submit I see these credentials do not match our records so as you see here you see the error message and another thing that you guys you could also use uh, custom uh, you know custom uh, strings here so you can display a different message instead of like you know this credential is not matched but for this tutorial we're just going to use the default and now for registration let's go ahead and register but I'm going to try to let's say John Smith and I'm going to try to use the same email address but this should fail because from our rules here we cannot have the same email address twice registering the user twice so let me go ahead and go to HTTP controllers and auth and then auth controller we, the email address will have to be unique to users as you can see here this rule says that unique to users and means that in the users table uh, the email address is a unique field so you cannot have two email addresses that are the same otherwise we won't be able to distinguish between users so I'm trying to use sign up the user with the same email address so I should get an error for that saying that okay this already exists alright so with this we are able to display uh, the errors in all the forms that we had. Now let's go ahead and log in. So I'm going to log in. I'm going to put a password and log in. And now I'm going to go ahead and post something here. I'm going to say uh, this is a test post. And I'm going to put it under, let's say, JavaScript and just type something here ignore this post it is just a test post it and once we post it successfully this will redirect us back to the page here and you can see the post inside here okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and open the controllers so under HTTP controllers and forum controller here I'm just gonna instead of redirecting back I'm gonna redirect to a home page I'm gonna type intended <laughs> so I'm gonna redirect to the home page here and let me cancel this instead of when we post that let me post another one test post 5 PHP and this is a Test. instead of redirecting back here I'm gonna redirect back to the home page 
And what I, what I want to do here is like, let's go ahead and display all the posts that we have in our database in the home page. For this tutorial, uh, we're just going to display them, but we're not going to style them. And next tutorial, we can style them. All right. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and look here. And I'm going to look under models and have a category and a post model, right? So I know here that I want to display all the posts in the home page for every user. We're just going to do this for this tutorial and we're going to enhance it in the next upcoming tutorials where we're only going to display posts that do not belong to you but it belong to other users or something like that. We can put criteria. But in this tutorial, just display uh, any post, your post too. We're going to display it in the home page. So I'm going to go ahead and go here in the controller. So in the pages controller, so open the HTTP controllers and go to your pages controller. And what I want to do here, I want to type post. Well, let's just type posts and this will be all posts. And what we want to do is post all. And what this simply does, and before we can use that, we have to include that model. So use app models and then we had the model in there which was a post as you can see here from the app models and then the post.php so what this does is basically says okay give me all the posts give me all the posts in the post table and store it in this variable and then I want to pass it to the view here so I'm gonna do compact and I'm gonna pass it that very vari that variable posts and this will pass all the posts that we have in our database which are the following posts here, the following three posts, and you will pass them here to the main, uh, to the home page. Let's go ahead and refresh this here. As you see, nothing happened, but if we go back here and open the view, and we go to pages and we go to the home page view, in here, I'm gonna make this slightly bigger. So in here, what we can do is we can write a loop to loop around all of these all right so let's go ahead and write a, uh, and write a loop here and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna remove part of this stuff as we don't need it so I'm gonna remove this paragraph and in this case I'm just gonna display two things I'm just gonna display the body basically the title and the body not the category as we will do that in the next tutorial so to do that I'm gonna use this for else loop for else and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have posts which is the variable that is being passed in as so I'm gonna loop through them a post and I'm gonna indent this in here just to ensure that that's inside of the and otherwise type empty and you're gonna type end for else so this is the end so what this is doing is saying okay go through all the posts one by one and then display something here if we don't have if the post uh, object returned is empty then display something so I'm just gonna display a paragraph here saying okay let's say no posts found if it's empty but if it's not empty, what I want to do is I'm going to display the post. So I'm going to remove that and I'm going to type post. And what we want to display here is we want to display the post. We want to display the title. So let's go ahead and display the title. And down here, in this case, we want to display the body. So let me go ahead and do that. So down here, we want to display the post body. Alright, so post and body. Alright, so what this will do in the home page is once we post it and you redirect us back, back to the home page, it's going to loop around through all the posts, right? And then it's going to go, uh, it's going to basically print out the title and the body. And if there are no posts found, which in our case we have three, so there should be some, it's going to display no posts found. But we can test this both. And in our next tutorial, we're going to style this and display the category and so on. But for this tutorial, let's just go ahead and 
go back to the home page so let me just refresh the home page as you can see here we see the post with the body and also the text let's go ahead and make it a little bit because that's way too big I'm gonna make this an h3 instead of an h2 and let's refresh this so as you can see here are the posts being displayed so that's the uh, title and this is the post body but uh, as you can see here let's go ahead and post another thing so let's go I'm gonna go ahead and post something else and you should redirect us back so I'm gonna say like um, new let me get new post like that and I'm gonna say ignore this post and post it and it should redirect us back home but however it's not showing the new post first it's showing it last so to handle that go back to our controller and let's order them by creation date that way we can get the newest one first so in our pages here after all I'm gonna do order by then I'm gonna get all so when I'm gonna do order by created at and in descending order we want this put a comma here so in our database we have a created timestamp here at so we can order based on which one was created uh, last that way we can put that one first so let's go ahead and refresh this and type get here instead of all and refresh as you can see here we have the them uh, displayed in order from the last one so basically the latest post goes first and the oldest post goes last in the next story what we'll do is we're gonna display the body we're gonna format this a little bit so display the person whoever posted this post title body the date that it was posted on and maybe and we can add how many people have left comments on this that will be in the next tutorial thank you for watching this tutorial guys and stick around for the 11th tutorial and that will come up soon thanks again